gentleman went passing by He asked for a drink as he got dry The wind will blow the van the o Wind rose the lady Right among the bushes oh. If your true love was passing by You'd pour my drink as he got dry The well below the van the o Wind rose the lady Right among the bushes Kid Vila Falcha Gaktina, you are all welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Floody, and in today's video, we are going to be doing the well below the Valio. So, guys, without further ado, it is time to learn. Okay, for this song, it is very, very simple. There are only two chords we need, but I'll show you two different variations in case you don't know those chords. So the first variation is the variation I played at the start, which uses A minor and G. So if you know those chords, skip ahead to where we get into the song, and if not, stay with me here and I'll show you those chords. A minor is the first box, second string or B string, and in the second box, it's D and G or strings four and three. Then we have G, now there's two ways of playing G. We have a G or a G add nine, uh, which would be your open G or full G. So we have in the second box, fifth string, A string. In the third box, it's big E or six. And it also in the third box, it is the very bottom string, little E. So there's the open G. Um, and then if you want to fill that out for a G add nine uh, or a full G, then you just move your third finger from little E up a string to the B string and your pinky now goes on E. So our fingers are second box A string, which is string five, third box six, which is E, two, which is B, one, which is little E. And that's the G that I use in this. It just makes the sound a little bit nicer when we transition from the A minor into the G. Uh, there's also two other chords you uh, want to play. If you want to play an easier version, it can go from E minor into D as well. Uh, it's obviously a much higher version, so you'd have to use a capo to compensate for the um, highness. <laughs> uh, just to, if you want to match the vocals, it's going to be on capo five, um, and then it'll sound the same. So E minor is second box five and four, A and D, and D is the second box, three, which is G, um, E, which is one, and in third box, it's B, which is string two. And on D, you always just strum the bottom strings. Okay, so that is your E minor and D. But I'm going to be showing you how to strum using the A minor and G pattern. So let me bring up the strumming pattern here beside me. And we'll start off with our A minor. So the strum pattern goes down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, that's the full strum pattern. You can just do down, down, up, up, um, or down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so an easy version. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So I'm doing uh, A minor, the full strum pattern twice, the down, down, up, up, twice. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. G, the full thing twice. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Then A minor for down, down, up, up. And then G for down, down. And A minor for up, up. Right, that's the first variation. That's the easiest one you can do. And um, that'll be a gentleman went passing by. He asked for a drink as he got dry at the well below the valley. Oh, green grass the lilies, right among the bushes. Oh. Right, simple as that. Just down, down, and up, ups. Um, <clears throat> then we have the next variation, which starts off with the down, down. But instead of going up, up, it goes up, down, up. So it goes down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So a little bit faster, so you can do um, down, down, up, up the first time, and down, down, up, down, up on the second one. Right, so that's the second variation. Third variation is down, up, down, up, down, up. So in um, on the A minor, instead of down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, G, up, down, up. Down. Okay, um, these are just different variations on strumming to, to uh, suit your style or speed that you want. The more strums you put in, the faster it's going to sound overall. The tempo can remain the same, but the more strums you try to squeeze into a section, the faster and fuller it just sounds. So if you want a nice soft acoustic one, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. A little bit faster, switch the strum pattern to down, down, up, down, up, or do a mix between um, the first and second strum pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. 
Then the third strum pattern, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and um, the way those, the last strum pattern is broken up, it's the same as the first one. So wherever I said down, down, that's your down, up, down. Wherever I said up, up, that's your up, down, up. You're just um, putting in the extra strum in the middle. So there are the chords we're going to need. We start off with a full A minor, a full G, and then for three times, it is a half A minor, and then a quarter G, quarter A minor. And that's the way it goes. So A minor uh, starts off full, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. So that's two strumming patterns. G, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Again, two full strumming patterns. A minor for one strumming pattern, down, down, up, up. And then G for down, down, and A minor for up, up. And you repeat that line three times. So A minor, down, down, up, up, G, down, down, A minor, up, up. And one more time, A minor, down, down, up, up, G, down, down, A minor, up, up. Uh, and that works the same for all strumming patterns. So what I'm gonna do is I'll, I have, well, obviously I'm recording this before I edit it, but I, on the screen here beside me, you'll see that it's color coordinated. So all the down downs, I'll have one, two, three. Um, all the first halves are red and all the second halves are green. We'll go red and green. Um, and they are your strum patterns, one, two, and three, and then the chord progression is up there on top. It also, it always has um, two lines in the verse and then two lines of the chorus. Just played over and over and over again. It's very quick and uh, very repetitive. Has the chorus hook line thrown in every single time after um, a small, short little verse, just two sentences, and then off it goes. Full A minor, a full G, and then straight back into the, the chorus at the well below the valley -o. Green grows the lily -os, right among the bushes -o every single time. But it's a lovely, lovely song. Uh, I heard, the first time I heard this song was Christy Moore's version. So go and check that out if you want to hear the full cover. It's really, really cool. Uh, or one of his live concerts, because him live, it's, it's just amazing, right? Um, and then if you like any of his other songs and you want me to do more of them, let me know. I can put them in. I also have one of his other songs in here right on. Um, I, used, I grew up, listened to all his songs. So let me know what, um, what songs you want me to do for you guys. I have hundreds of Irish songs. Uh, coming out so every Sunday it's always going to be an Irish song let me know what you like and I can prioritise that to come out but every Sunday it's always going to be an Irish song watch all my other videos as well Tuesday it's going to be a reaction video to a music video uh, Thursday it is a random song so if you want to learn a new song that's coming out or if you want to um, learn how to use some equipment or how to record or anything like that let me know and I'll make a tutorial on that for Thursdays and then I'll try to release some sort of cover on uh, Wednesday or Friday also on our SoundCloud account I am uploading the backing tracks for songs so you can actually practice and play along with all the songs that I upload here on YouTube um, links are in the description below you can follow that but guys thanks thanks for watching if you like that video hit the like button if you're new subscribe and as always i will see you next time